Today, we are sharing three Super Bowl sleepers who can shock the world if they win it all. We know the San Francisco 49ers, the Baltimore Ravens, and the high-flying Buffalo Bills are the obvious choices. But that's boring. Everybody loves a good underdog story. So let's talk about the teams that are not considered contenders, but have all the tools to go all the way and claim the Vince Lombardi trophy. While it may be tough, we believe that these three teams have the makings to go on a Cinderella run. A little play action to start. Good protection. Airs it out for Collins. He's got it. One play. Touchdown, Texans. Starting with number three, the Houston Texans. If you were to tell us that the Texans will win the division at the beginning of the year, we would think you were on drugs because this team was supposed to win five games at best. Now, Houston clinched a playoff spot and won the division in a win or go home game in Indianapolis against the Colts. So experiencing that game against the Colts, which had the stakes of a playoff game and a loud crowd, the younger players got their feet wet and will know what to expect against the Cleveland Browns. They now have a head coach who the team wants to play for in D'Amico Ryans, who himself is a former All-Pro linebacker for the Texans. D'Amico, who had a great success with the 49ers as their defensive coordinator, has his defense playing at an all-elite level, led by the third overall pick, Will Anderson Jr., and other pieces as well. We all know defense helps win championships. The final and main reason the Texans can win the Super Bowl is because of their quarterback, C.J. Stroud. If you were to watch this NFL for the first time, you would think C.J. Stroud is a seasoned veteran. As a rookie, C.J. led the Texans to the playoffs even when some of his top offensive players have been injured. He is the Offensive Rookie of the Year favorite and played like a top 5 QB this year. Stroud has balled out in big moments already in his career like the performance he had against Georgia in the college football playoff semi-final game and clinching the division title by going into a hostile environment in Indianapolis and leading the team to victory. Turnovers change the outcomes of playoff games, but CJ Stroud's best attribute is protecting the football. CJ has only thrown five interceptions this year. Those S2 cognition tests labeled him as a dumb QB, but he has played like one of the smartest and the Panthers are kicking themselves right now for not taking him first overall. I wonder what all the scouts and draft pundits got to say now. The recipe to playoff success is great coaching, having a good defense, and a clutch quarterback. Believe it or not, the Texans have all three and can go on a run. But we still think there are two teams that have a better chances of going on a Cinderella run. Before we get into the next team, we would appreciate if you guys smash the like and subscribe button because we post sports content like this and you guys do not want to miss them. Bootleg, Flacco sets, throws, looking for separation. It's caught Amari Cooper down the sideline for the touchdown. Our next team is the Cleveland Browns. The Browns do play the Texans in wildcard weekend, but we will share our main reason why we rank Cleveland ahead of Houston. The Browns were considered a sneaky contender in the preseason. They have a good old line and run game, and they believe they found their quarterback in Deshaun Watson. And their defense is just incredible. But things seemed to fall apart because Nick Chubb had a season-ending injury. Deshaun Watson was not playing like a $250 million quarterback and then got injured himself. What kept this team together was this incredible defense led by Jim Shorts. The Browns' defense is on another level compared to the Texans. In our opinion, they have the Defensive Player of the Year frontrunner in Miles Garrett and other pieces like Denzel Ward and Zedarius Smith which helps this defense become elite. The questions lie around the offense and who will take over as QB after the Watson injury. That is when 38-year-old Joe Flacco came straight from the couch and onto the field and answered the Browns fans' prayers. He has performed at an exceptional level and also brought the best out of his main weapons in Amari Cooper who set a franchise record in receiving yards in a game and David Njoku who has become Flacco's favorite target. This offense looks better with Flacco in it than it did with Watson and has convinced us that Joe Flacco can lead this Browns team to a Super Bowl run. Flacco has gone 4-1 with the Browns this year and they have had FC lockup in Week 17. Kevin Stefanski deserves massive credit for what he has done this year. Alongside D'Amico Ryans, he deserves to be in the Coach of the Year conversation and now put this team in a position to win. So the coaching is at the same level as the Texans. The Browns have the better defense and we believe still CJ Stroud is better than Joe Flacco. But the Texans and Browns have the recipe of both going on an underdog run. However, one main reason we have Cleveland ahead of Houston 
is because of playoff experience. Joe Flacco has a 10-5 playoff record and is a Super Bowl winner and has a Super Bowl MVP. Then a lot of the Browns players experienced the postseason in the 2020 year where Kevin Stefanski and the Browns upset the Pittsburgh Steelers and then lost by five to the Chiefs in the divisional round. The postseason experience is the main reason why we rank Cleveland ahead of Houston, but there is still one more team we believe that has a better chance of making their underdog story. Three by one to the right side, looks that way, throws that way, caught! The Kua, touchdown! And at number one, probably the best team out of the non-contending teams is the LA Rams. Some people may not be surprised if they do win at all based on their name, brand, and talent, but they're still a tier below the true contenders. Beginning of the year, many had them written off coming off one of the worst Super Bowl title defenses in NFL history. But as the season went along, they managed to find their form again. It also helps that Matthew Stafford was healthy throughout the year. The Rams will be a scary team to face because they ended the season winning the last seven of their eight games. The only loss came in overtime against the Super Bowl favorites, the Baltimore Ravens. Along with the momentum, they have the players that have the experience of what it takes to win the whole thing. In an offseason where Jalen Ramsey, Leonard Floyd, and Bobby Wagner departed, nobody gave this team a chance for a playoff spot. The determining factor for this team was to keep their big three players of Stafford, Cup, and Donald healthy for most of the season, which they did. Stafford had an incredible season. Donald did what he always does, and Cup needed some time to recover from his hamstring injury and finish the season strong. Offensively, this team looked great all year. Huka Nakua came out of nowhere and broke the rookie record for receiving yards in a season. After an injury-reeled rookie year, Hyron Williams broke out with 1,144 rushing yards and 12 touchdowns. The Achilles heel of the offense was the offensive line, and they did enough to keep Stafford upright and vastly improved from the year prior. Finally, Sean McVay is still coaching this team who is one of the best coaches and play callers in the game along with Raheem Morris to lead that defense. Raheem Morris got the best out of his defense after losing many pieces from the year prior. Young studs like Kobe Turner and Byron Young stepped up to help this come top 12 against the run and overall middle of the pack which can be enough for a Super Bowl run. Morris has done an excellent job for what he had and will also be a head coach candidate for many teams in the offseason. Alongside the Bills, the Rams are one of the hottest teams entering the playoffs. Their coaches and star players have the experience of winning a Super Bowl, which they did a couple of years ago. With their talent, experience, and momentum, we believe the LA Rams have the best chance of creating an underdog story. All right, so those are our three sleeper teams that can shock the world this year if they win the Super Bowl. Comment down below if we missed any team or if you would like to change our ranking because we always love hearing your guys' opinion. If you guys want to hear our wildcard predictions, then check out this podcast episode on screen where we predict the NFL wildcard weekend and we will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.